Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. Probably a little bit of deja vu if you've seen the other video I put up today. Uh, basically, if you are new to the channel, the way I like to do my unboxings each month is I subscribe to two services, Ipsy and Play by Sephora. So I like to put two videos up same day so you can just watch them kind of at the same time. A lot of people are interested in what comes in each just as a means of comparison. So. That's what I do, and then, because it's so late in the month, or the reason it's so late in the month is because I not only like to show you what comes in each subscription service, but I also like to have used what I can for as long as possible so that it's also like a mini review too. You know, really pack a lot of information in there so it's not just like showing you what comes inside. You know, little reviews as well. So let's go ahead and dive into the Play by Sephora box, and if you're interested in seeing what came in my May Ipsy bag, you can go uh, I'll either put a little annotation here or just stay tuned to the end of the video or check the links in the description bar. It's it's everywhere. You can't miss it. So inside the Play by Sephora box, they changed the packaging up this month and I love it. I'm super impressed. Here's the box. You no longer get those awful little paper like paper things. Instead, they put all the products in this cute little um, bag, which, you know, might might prove to be problematic as they start piling up each month, but it's just, it, it takes the mess out of things. I'm sure you can repurpose this. The bag itself is very cute. Um, yeah, it just cuts down on the mess and you don't have that extra box. It was like they would do the box within a box. You had lots of cardboard at the end of the month and at least this you can reuse. So love, love, love the change in format this month. But once you get inside this month's theme, let me pull out the book. It's called Forces of Nature, and even this feels a little, oh, because it's not a book. It's like this fold out kind of poster thing. That's nice, they're like really minimizing resources. I dig that, that's awesome. So, um, but without cutting down on info, like it still walks you through each of the products, gives you ingredients, little tips, like did you know, things like that. Um, yeah, really like this. Okay, so let's start with my lips. I can't, they actually were two lip products in this month, so um, I have a favorite and I have a not so favorite. Let's start with a favorite, which is what I'm wearing. It is one of the Bite Beauty uh, Amuse Bouche lipsticks, and I actually got three shades through Influencer. I've already done a review of these. I really, really like the formula. I think they are worth every penny if you're looking for an intensely pigmented but very nourishing. It's almost like a lip treatment lipstick. So I have three shades that I have swatched and like done a full on review. So I was really happy to get the shade that I did in this month's box, this hot fuchsia pinky shade. It is called Kimchi. And granted it is kind of a smaller size, but it's still a good size sampling. Quality of the formula is just as consistent. I love it. I love it. But I don't love the other product that I got this month, which was the Tardis uh, lip liner in later gram. I think this is just called a lip liner, but it too is a sample size, which makes me think maybe this isn't what the full size uh, packaging is like. Let me know if you know in the comments below, but really the packaging was the main turnoff for me. The product itself lasted a while. Later Graham is a, a great uh, like nudie shade on me anyway. It's like a, not a year lips, but better, but just a, a good nude neutral on my lips. So love the shade, love the formula, but the formula is dry. It's not a very creamy formula. And so between that, and then you combine it with this very narrow automatic lip liner format and it broke, I swear, at least three times. And I, th I think it was in the demo that I'm actually filming and will hopefully be running over this as I blab on, but it broke like within the first use three times, such a waste of product. I think it's a combination uh, between the formula and the packaging. And so if the full size packaging is different, I might consider checking it out. But uh, yeah, this the sample itself was a major turnoff just because I wasted so much product. It was so dry going across the lips that it just kept breaking. And it also tugged at the lips, it was so dry. So it wasn't very a very comfortable formula to apply. It's, it didn't dry my lips out once it was on, but I have better lip liner formulas, basically. Next up are some products that I have to be honest, I have very limited experience with, and you'll see why once I talk about them. So the first of which is a hair product. It's the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. It doesn't have any parabens, silicones, or phthalates in it. It's from the brand Briogeo. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a great size sample, but my hair is very, 
very uh, thin, fine. I need a lot of help when it comes to the volume and the boosting of the size of it, and that's all I really want out of my hair. So I'm very particular with what I put on it, making sure it doesn't weigh it down, and generally, masks like this that are intensely hydrating do nothing for my hair. They do the opposite of nothing. They're like the worst. They just drag it down, and then they leave it there sometimes for longer like you know days depending on how deeply it conditions and how long it takes to get out so very touchy about using these so i haven't used this uh, but i will give it to someone with a better hair situation than me because someone's got to use it it's a great size sample let me know if you've tried it in the comments below maybe it's not as intensely hydrating as i think it is um so yeah if you tried it definitely let me know your results in the comments below next two products once again don't have a great deal of experience with because my skin has been in a state of disaster in the month of may i've been like i had a cold that i thought was allergies and so i was popping decongestants like it was my job which kind of helped but as a result also dried my my, my normally combination skin dried it out and then i was having breakouts on top of it so whenever my skin freaks out like that because i do have like going back to college and stuff very acne prone skin that can kind of flare up when the balance is disrupted i always go back to like my core set of products which are very geared towards acneic skin and then i don't brand i don't try new products because i'm not sure what's going to trigger especially if you're taking decongestants it can sensitize your skin so any you know fragrance that you you know put on it or new products you're not sure how your skin's going to react it can just make matters worse so i didn't really try a whole lot of new products for my skin actually any this month which is why I have not tried the Kors uh, Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial, but I have smelled it because it's rose. And I've also tried, I've just put it on the back of my hand for consistency's sake. It does feel very rich, which kind of worries me now that my skin's back to baseline combo because I'm a little worried I'm gonna wake up with my face as an oil slick. But I also have some hyperpigmentation as a result of being acneic when I was younger. And so I am interested in trying this out. I just hope it's not going to be too rich for me but it does say all skin types so I'm eager to try it but I will say that I was surprised at how strong the scent was it's like a very I did not put a whole lot on the back of my hand it's very fragrant very rosy which is great if you like rose but not if you find that your skin is sensitive to fragrances like that so we will see, I'll keep you updated if you're interested. And then the other thing I am so bummed that I missed out on, it's the Origins Maskimizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. And basically the way I read this is it's kind of like a, a toner or um, basically I gathered it's like an essence or a toner that you put on your skin post cleanse to help rebalance the pH, but it's also going to help whatever targeted treatment you wanna put on afterward, whether it's a serum or a mask or you know a spot treatment, something like that, it's gonna help it be that much more effective because your skin more prepared to absorb the act active ingredients so this is a really cool sample just the way it's laid out they basically they give you the maskimizer you spritz this on your face and then you go in with a mask and they actually provide you with two masks one is probably the one that I would go most for it's the clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores or there is a hydration mask it's the drink up intensive overnight mask to quench skin's thirst so i just thought this was the coolest delivery the coolest way to deliver this sample um, because you not only get it but then the two masks or two that that tackle very different skin issues to understand how it works with those but like i said have not really had a chance to go at it because i didn't want to try a lot of new stuff for my skin and the last product as usual if you've ever seen a play by sephora box if you're just now getting yours this month good to know there is always a fragrance in the box this one very fresh and summery it is from the brand atelier cologne it's orange sanguine which i swear i have tried before maybe in a birch box but i swear i've tried it in a monthly box before it smells very familiar the name sounds very familiar essentially it's like an orange that you put on your person with a hint of like it's almost like this is weird it's almost like gin and orange it smells like a gin and tonic but with a lot of orange and I don't hate it I like the smell of gin and tonic and orange um, so I like it it doesn't last a lot on me which like I literally just put it on and I can't smell it and that's one thing that I tend to notice as I wear this is it just doesn't stick with me throughout the day which I really prefer my fragrances do I'm not about applying or like maintenance with fragrance throughout the day so 
it's probably not going to be one that I reach for every day, but as far as the scent goes, it's very fresh. It's very energizing because it has that those citrus notes, but um, yeah, if you, like me, tend to have issues with fragrance sticking with you, this might not be the one for you. So I have to say, I probably like this month's Ipsy bag more, just because between not liking one of the lip products and not being able to try a lot of the skincare products, um, I just didn't have a lot to go off of, and so that's certainly not going to be everyone's experience this month. I hope to be able to report back on the skincare at a later date, maybe in a live stream. I don't know. Let me know what you guys, if you guys want to see how you want to see an update on that. But yeah, I definitely recommend you go checking out the Ipsy bag because there's a little bit more color cosmetics in there, um, and I just, in general, really liked how all of those perform. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hoped you enjoyed seeing what came inside this month's box, and I'd love to hear what you guys have been getting. Play by Sephora has been opening up in the last video I made where they started opening up all of their, like, their wait list or no they started taking people off the wait list and getting them the box a ton of you guys said that you were getting yours so definitely let me know what you thought of your box if you if this is your first or second month or whatever let me know what you think in the comments below and besides that thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video bye guys